the DHCPD config file, DHCP, DHCP, DHCPD config file is called Etsy DHCP, DHCPD.conf. If we look at that file, it tells us, oh, hey, just kidding. There's actually no config in there, but they give us a sample file. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this sample file, right, um, into this location. So I'm going to go ahead and see over to Etsy DHCP uh, to make this a little easier. Uh, notice I'm operating as root in this terminal. These things need to be done as roots, so you might as well go ahead and become roots. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the sample file. to the current current directory and we're going to call it dhcpd.conf. So we're going to overwrite that file that's already there with this sample file. Yes, I want to overwrite it. We're going to edit this sample file. I'm going to use the VI editor because that's my editor of choice. Uh, you can use nano if you don't know VI because nano is more user friendly. You should have figured that out in the last, last lab we did. So I'm going to edit this dhcpd.conf file to make it be a DHCP server for my network. So if we look at the sample file, anything with a, with a comment, is, with a pound sign, is commented out. So uh, we're going to scroll down here and look at some of these sample subnet configs they give us. Uh, here's one that says it helps the server understand topology. We're going to ignore that. Very basic. That's, this, this one is far too basic. These declarations start with the word subnet include the requirements and the options, and then end with a, a curly bracket, have a curly bracket up there uh, to map that. So we're gonna, we're gonna find the config that is most complete and uh, modify it to meet our needs, and then delete the other one. So this is the one we're gonna use. We're gonna use this a slightly different configuration for an internal subnet. So we're gonna go back and delete these lines that uh, are extra. I'm in VI, so I'm gonna hit DD. A bunch of times. Every time I hit DD, it deletes the line. If, if you're using nano backspace over these lines to get rid of them. So I'm going to get rid of these extra lines. Uh, and now I have the config I want to use. This is going to be for VLAN 3. So I need to modify it to match the correct configuration parameters for my VLAN 3. So the network 10.1.128, the net mask, that is a uh, 26 bit net mask. The range, this defines the range of addresses that we want to give out. So um, I'm going to give out from 150 to 180. We put our server at 130, so we don't want to give out 130. Um, domain name servers. We are going to give out the domain name server 100, 100, 100, 2. The domain name, um, uh, we will use for now, just put cnt.lab for the domain name. The router, this needs to be the router interface for that subnet and our VLAN 3 router interface is 10.1.1.129. The broadcast address for that subnet is going to be 10.1.1.191. That's not a 1. 191. So that, uh, that's the config we want to, to give out for VLAN 3. So we'll save that file. Um, however it is, colon WQ writes and quits in VI if you're using nano, it's control X and then yes to save. And now we need to start the um, DHCP server. Command for that, system control start DHCPD. Hopefully it starts without errors. Um, mine start without errors. So 